What's up, you awesome people? It's Melissa, and welcome back to Cocktails and Consoles, where today I am taking you back to my childhood. I just realized how that sounded, pointing at alcohol. That's not what I meant. I meant we're going to be playing a game that I grew up with as a kid called Leisure Suit Larry. Okay, for some of you guys who actually know what that game is, let me, let me stipulate. Growing up as a kid, I got addicted to computer games fast. My parents never let me have a Sega Genesis or a Nintendo, so I came into actual console games pretty late. But what I did have was a computer, because they figured if you're going to play something, play something where you can learn. And Sierra Games was that great combination of fun and learning in my book. You got great storytelling, you had great puzzles to solve, a little bit of fighting here and there, a little bit of quick action that you had to do, but the games were just memorable and lastable. I started off with King's Quest, and then I moved into Police Quest, Space Quest. Oh god, I love those games. Sadly, Sierra got bought out by Activision, and then they jumped on the 90s, late 90s bandwagon of horror games, shoot 'em ups and sadly that was the end of the empire that Ken and Roberta Williams built. However, thankfully, some of the die-hard fans out there have remastered some of those great classics, and the one we're going to be playing today is Leisure Suit Larry 1. Of all the Leisure Suit Larrys, perhaps not my ultimate favorite. Uh, it's kind of a tie between 2 and 3. Oh god, I love those games so much. I can probably tell you to them by memory I played them so much. But Leisure Suit Larry 1 was fun because it starts you off right at the beginning. It does an age check. It hits you with questions that you have to answer and this was pre the internet. So you were cool in school, I hate to say this, you were cool in school if you knew the cheat codes on how to get around it. Which thankfully I did. Although I still love playing the age checker just to test my knowledge. It's kind of like Jeopardy with the reward of porn. Not, you, you'll see what I mean. So, for Leisure Suit Larry, Mr. Larry Laffer, who was designed by Al Lowe, such a fun game. Oh, you could tell that he had fun making that game. As far as I can tell, he doesn't have a particular cocktail. So, I tried making one for him. And to keep with the style that is Larry Laffer, I went for something blue and white. And it just wasn't working. Um, there's a very short amount of alcohols that are blue, and blue curacao sucks. Its only purpose is to make a drink blue. It practically contributes nothing to the flavor. So I ran out of luck. But all is not lost. I figure since Leisure Suit Larry is a classic, we're going to bring back a classic. So I did a search for cocktails in this, mm, say, late 70s. I figured that was his big era. And I had a plethora of cocktails to pick from with some very suggestive names. And I finally whittled it down to the Harvey Wallbanger. Insert drum riff here. The Harvey Wallbanger is pretty interesting because much like Larry Laffer, it was heralded as being a huge disaster. The character, not the game. The game's fabulous. The character is a klutz. The Harvey Wallbanger was popular in the late 70s, and as best as I can tell, people had issues with it because prior to that was a big martini age, the 50s and the 60s and the sophisticated flavors and the absinthe. And then you got into the late 70s where the flavors started turning more towards, well, electric colors and shocking flavors. It lost a little bit of the sophistication. And to some, that was the breaking point. This drink has kind of fallen into obscurity, but we're gonna bring it back because you know what? Shocking colors and no, it's a damn good drink. So, what do we need to do this? We're gonna start off with three ounces of orange juice. One, I use blood orange for this, and I highly recommend it if you can get it. The color is gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Plus the flavor is just out of this world. To this, I add a little bit of club soda just to help break up the heaviness a little bit. Then we're gonna add in an ounce and a quarter of vodka, any kind of vodka will do. Added to that, a combination of a half of an ounce of Galliano and a half of an ounce of Frangelico. And then finally, we're gonna top it off with a slice of orange. Again, I went with the blood orange because awesome. So let's do this. Starting off, let's fill our shaker with ice. 
starting to feel a little like Tetris. <laughs> it's all frozen together. This is how long my prep takes, people. I'm gonna start off first with our vodka. You can do this in any order. Then, I'm gonna take our mixture of Galliano and Frangelico. And then finally topped off with our mixture of blood orange juice and club soda. Oh, that already looks so pretty. And give it a good shake. We'll take our glass and fill. And finally, float that on top. Even though people have shamed this drink, I mean, honestly, you put it in the right glass, look how awesome it is. Let's take a sip. Mmm. Wow, that's really good. Um, it could probably use a little bit of simple syrup if you like your drinks just a little bit sweeter. Uh, this also actually works really well for people who like their drinks dry. This does have a nice dry component to it. I think it's the Galliano. Mmm. Oh, that's good. I well, hope you guys had an awesome time. Hope you guys enjoy the drink. Leave comments down below. Love hearing from you. And we are off to play some Leisure Suit Larry. See you in a bit, people. Cheers. What's up awesome people? Welcome back to Cocktails and Consoles. It's Melissa and we are doing night one <laughs> of Leisure Suit Larry. So glad you guys could join me. Still rocking away on the Harvey Wallbanger. And just loaded Leisure Suit Larry. I have to say off the bat, loving the intro screen. <laughs> the music just makes you wanna bop along to it. I'm kinda curious to see how different this is. Sorry, my cats love to make a guest appearance. All right, I have no idea what we're in for, people. Let's just get started. Oh, the age checker is still here. Okay, how old am I? Please don't look. Yeah, sure you are. <laughs> they kept a lot of the tropes, this is very cool of these five simple questions. Which of these require a battery? An amoeba, a tamagotchi, a good gin and tonic never requires a battery. Moisturizer soaked tissues. I'm gonna go with this one. Ha! I got it. I never had a tamagotchi. Which one has millions of drunks worshipped as the porcelain goddess? Of course. Ouch. Sorry Catherine Heigl. Roberta Williams designed what? Computer games, my hero. What's Soylent Green made from? I feel bad, I actually have not seen this movie, but I know the answer. Mm. Let's do this. Your name is Larry, Larry Laffer. You've arrived in beautiful lost wages without luggage. The airline lost it. Without a hotel reservation, you forgot to get one. And without <laughs> a clue, you've never had, had one. one. I you knew he was going to say that. The hot, dry air of lost wages hits you in the face like a hard slap. A feeling not wholly unfamiliar, unfamiliar to you. After they use that line a lot. You be low on funds, but you've got the looks, the lines, and the leisure suit. And the You're nose. To find true love. And if you happen to get lucky along the way, that's okay. After all, you're nearly 40. And still on oh. Still untouched by human hands. Look out, ladies. I'm I really don't tonight. like this voice. This is the voice that they started using in the later ones. And it just, it takes you out of the game. But it is what it is. Lefty's door is stout and thick. All right, just that's look. Like Let's open this up. Looks almost dead on the same. Let's talk to some people. Be polite, Larry. Look at the man first. 
appease one of Lost Wages' finest benefactors. Okay, and if I remember correctly, if we talk to this guy, we're never getting out of it. The zipper's still he there. He to be perverted, twisted, and sick. You instantly take a liking to him. <laughs> That's sad that he's the bartender, too. What's a hot babe like that doing in a miserable, smelly, broken-down joint like this? Hey, Bob, just keep that kind of narration to yourself. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Can we talk to her? You must be tired. You've been running through my mind all day. Oh. I know. But you if anyone's ever scored team. using that line, please... I almost said call me. Like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry if this sounds a little squirrely, baby, but I'd like to store you in my cheap pouches for a snowy day. Really? I'd like to crack your skull like a nut and bury your brains in the park. Alrighty then. Okay. That's Jordan Lee. He's here frequently, and they say he shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. Curiously, in Florida, Arizona, and Montana, just to watch him die is a valid legal defense against homicide. Hey, <laughs> Want to go get into some serious fucking trouble? Hey! No! That's a shame. I know some major going down tonight. It's gonna be awesome. That sounds boss. I know it doesn't. Don't remember if we talked to him or not. You know what? I do know where we do go. We go back here. You are in a dimly lit hallway. The peeling wallpaper gives the roaches something to watch. Clutter fills the room. <laughs> And a filthy drunk wearing filthy clothes sits on the filthy floor, leaning his filthy back against the filthy wall. All right. We're going to let him sleep. And we're going to grab that. Score. Yeah, baby. <laughs> You've got two choices, hot water or cold water. Oh, I hate making decisions. You start to wash your hands in the cold water. Then you realize that there's no soap. Then you realize that there are no paper towels. So you wash your hands as well as you can and wipe them on the back of your shirt, under your jacket where the wet spots won't show. Okay. Let's take a look around. This toilet looks disgusting on the outside, but you have to look past the surface putrefaction and try to see its inner virulence. Uh -huh. You grab an ancient copy of Flutter, the magazine of nude skydiving, and settle in to sit and think. You feel a great relief. What's that aroma? Okay. Carefully finishing your duties, you wipe and toss the newspaper behind the toilet for the next user. Don't do it, Larry. Too late. The toilet begins to oh, fill. Realizing shit. your mistake, you quickly jiggle the handle, attempting to stem the onrushing tide of water. I completely forgot the about that. Oh. Your, head, your life All right. flushes before your eyes. <laughs> you doze briefly. Turns out, a flush beats everything. Sometimes good manners are a bad idea. How drunk hey, was this guy who said all these lines? Oh, nice. Uh -huh. We're gonna click that off. Resume. All right, so we have the ring. Buried under the usual skin mags are some real collector's items. One of them is juicy Japanese and Jewish. Okay. Uh, for now, I don't think there's anything else that we can do in the bathroom. You can't open it. It just hangs there mocking you. Of course, you're used to things just hanging there mocking you. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. There it is. That's what we needed. We grabbed the you rose. You pluck the rose from the vase and carry it with you. Yeah, baby. <laughs> now, one of the nice things about Sierra Games is only rarely did they allow you give something to someone that was not intended which is nice because you don't want to <laughs> you don't want to screw yourself too early in this game 
Let's talk to him. Wanting to be humane to the drunk, you clap him firmly on the shoulder, stroke his head, pat his hand, and get up close to him. So tell me, how are you doing? Ah, oh, thanks for asking, Wally. I'd be just great if only my impetigo would clear up. <laughs> Stop I... anthropomorphizing stuff. Okay. We're gonna go wash our hands just to be on the safe side. I kind of remember that being a requirement. Turn on the hot tap. Immediately, steam starts to chug from the spigot. Technically, steam Hello. is invisible. This is water vapor, but nobody likes a narrating smartass. You notice some writing <laughs> I in love the, the narrating and smartass. That could be important. I'll have to remember it. <gasps> That's the password. Paper, That's chewing new. Off your fingernails to the quick. You scroll the words "kin sent, sent me. me" blood on the paper. You turn off the hot tap, and the mist slowly clears. All right. Progress is being made. I wonder what that door is for. We can go down here for now, because I do know where that leads us. Hey, door, you got toilet paper stuck to your shoe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 jackass. Ah, la, 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 la. We do it on time. Okay. You rap loudly on the Naga High door. Yeah. What's the password? Now, it should be, I think, in my inventory. Bingo. Uh, uh, uh. What the hell? Okay, so this is a little glitchy. Okay, so let's explore. We'll take this, hit OK. You read off the strange password you discovered in the jar. Uh, Ken <laughs> sent me? By the way, the Ken is Ken Williams of Ken and Roberta oh, Williams. You recognize this setup from a number of art Ooh. films you viewed. The gentleman before you is basically working That was a bad time desk. for the orange to His move. His employee is upstairs, waiting to provide quick uh. expert services to a discriminating clientele. Thank you, Orange. All right. So we need the remote's already here. That's interesting. Since nobody seems to be using it, you glom the remote. Yeah, baby. There are no working controls on the TV set and no good reason to take it. All right. I don't remember them giving us this this early, but ugh, glitchy as shit. The remote is out of juice. It's not currently working with the TV. Okay, so we need some batteries. Got it. And he's not going to let us upstairs. I already What's know that. Man? Just hanging out. What's upstairs? Nothing you'll ever get to see. Why? What ba -dum -bum -bum. It's a woman, and she's too much for you. You're not getting by me. Just put it out of your head. Well, that just makes me want to go up there even more, right? Makes me want to figure out a way to get past you. You're new at this, aren't you? Yeah, apparently. All right. As far as, wow, that's a closet. As far as I can tell, that's about all that we can do here for now. So we'll leave. Yeah. There we go. All right. How much money do we have? We have no money, but we can use this. He's big on the breath spray. Ah. It's appropriate to make eye contact with someone when you're new to each other, especially this fine supporter of lefties. All right, I'm gonna try having a sit here. You take a seat on an available bar stool. I guess people don't mess around with you. They misjudge me. For instance, just because I know 1,001 ways to inflict pain on the human body doesn't mean I like to hurt people. I suddenly have to go. I get that a lot. <laughs> From every female victim. Blah, 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 blah. A lot of guys just leave her hanging in a tree somewhere. <laughs> So, what was the setup to that punchline? 
That's what I'm wondering. Blah, 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 blah. No, no deer. Tail too high. Run too fast. <laughs> so what is the setup to that punchline? Yep, and this is just going to keep continuing. All right, we're going to wrap it up here for tonight. I'm getting my legs underneath me a little bit with this game. Hope you guys have enjoyed. The, it seems to carry a lot of the tropes. It's gotten a little bit more slapsticky, but I think we're really going to enjoy this one. Um, if you want, leave comments down below. What do you think of the game so far? What do you think about the drink? And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, you can throw me a subscribe, would really appreciate it. If you're just coming in new to the series, you want to catch up, the link to the playlist is down below. And if you just want to chat, would love to hear from you. What's going on in your world? Hit me up on social media. Till next time, awesome people. Cheers.